Hi guys, welcome to this session on SharePoint lists. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a form that is based on a list right from the off. So normally you would create a list and then you can create a form, but now you can get the form straight away. So I've got a, a site here called Zulu Wars and I'm going to click on new and in there you get list and then you get list form, which is what I'm going to click on. Now it gives you some options to name the, the list. So let's just call it course listing. That's what it's going to be called. It says show in side navigation. Yep. Create. Then it comes up with the form, which you can then name again. I'll just call it courses. This is the name of the list as well. And then you've got your first sort of column as you do in a list, which I'll call item. So that would be a column. And then you basically add the columns that you want. So you've got a series of options here. The first one is just going to be a text field. And I'm going to call it course. Next, add. Then I want a choice, which is going to be different levels so I'll call it levels and then level one two and three this will be a drop down list and then add another choice if you want but I don't new I want um, a date column this is going to be date of training And then add new. Last one, I'll just have a text column and this will just be called description. So some description you can put in there if you want. And then add, add that one. So there's your fields. You can add a logo at the top there if you want. You've got the edit mode there and you can have a look at the thing. This is what you've got. You can create branching if you so wish. What that means is if, for example, if this was a form um the first question on the form was are you over 65 you might have branching to go to the last entry on this form because you don't need details from that person that's what that's about that's what branching is about but i'm not going to do any branching that's what i've got over on the right you've got this area which is showing you the different fields you've got themes here you're going to pick a different one i'll pick that one pink so that's what the form is going to look like and then settings is you can tick these on or off basic basically notify me um, accept responses etc etc all of this you can just leave as default and then you've got it send the form but before I do that I'm going to preview it so I'm going to preview what this looks like so this looks like this and you can submit it so I will do a first item so I'll go one course is just going to be excel level this is a choice field i'll go level one and then just date i'll put us today and then i will um, change the description to be office 365 and then i will submit it like so so that's it submitted so You've got it open in a new tab if you want. If I go back to preview, um, you've got this option again, send, copy link. Whoever gets this link can fill this form in. If I close this form down and just refresh this window, that will show you that entry there. So it's similar to Microsoft Forms. Um, Microsoft Forms can populate information into a, an Excel spreadsheet but this is doing it into a list and then because this is a list I can just go edit in this grid view and I can add items in here in the same way but now I'm just entering it through the list option but the fields are still there drop down list is still there and I'll go the first of the first 25 say and then 
just type office in fact because this is a list you can just pull that down you don't need need to um, type it out again click off that come out of edit view so it doesn't like something so it must be that, that date okay so I'll pick the date it doesn't like this date Two thousand and one. Have to delete that all together and come back into it. Twenty twenty five. Eighth of the eighth. Okay, come out of grid view. Now to see the forms, if you want to send this form to somebody, you've got forms there, look. And that form that I created called course is there. And if I open it again you can see it's ready to be filled in. And I can just send this out to somebody else, copy the link, and then send it. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video, how you can create a form from scratch using the new feature in SharePoint. I'm basically selecting it to form this start point at the top there, list form. So hopefully this video is of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.